You're right guys, it's Capcom Tom here and welcome to another episode of FIFA Through the Years Generation Squad Builders. Today we are going to be building an absolutely insane Spanish team, the best possible from all the FIFA Ultimate teams put together. But first, if you're looking to buy some Ultimate Team Coins, go and check out futcoinemporium.com, their link will be down in the description, a fast, cheap and reliable coin service. And if you use the discount code CAPGONTOM, you'll get 10% off all your purchases. So, today we are going to be building this Spanish team in the 3-4-1-2 formation. Now, the reason for that is that I didn't want to have too many DMs in this team because it would have, well, sort of handicapped me and made me not able to put as many high-rated players in it. So that meant that the 3-5-2 was out. Also, didn't want to use four at the back formation because although we have Alba on the, or, yeah, Alba on the left side, who's a very highly rated left back, there isn't anyone particularly good at the right back position. I think the best would have been like Arba Lower at an 82 rating. However, there obviously was Sergio Ramos at one point, but we have to use him as a centre back because he's so much better in that position. He's so much more highly rated is what I'm trying to get at. So, here we go. Let's build. First off, we're going to go for the strikers and we're going for a FIFA 10 duo. And these cards look absolutely insane. First up, David Villa. This card, unbelievable. It's a 93 rated striker card. He has a 92 card as well. But this one has 90 pace, 95 shooting, 89 dribbling. That thing would have been absolutely lethal. And to put it with this card, which is also absolutely amazing, would have made such a good strike force. And it is going to be FIFA 10's 92 rated Fernando Torres. Look at that thing. 94 pace, 93 shooting, 85 heading, and 88 dribbling. Those two together, I don't, we don't even need the rest of the team because they are just too good together. They would be absolutely insane. Right, at centre forward, we're going to go for one of the, well, one of the players you definitely expect to see in this team. There are three, I think, team or players that you definitely expect to see in this, in three or four maybe five okay maybe six seven you know whatever that seem to make it into the team of the year every year and because they're in the team of the year they obviously have very highly rated cards the first one being Iniesta we're going to play him at the center forward position you can see here his 96 rated center attacking mid card the reason I'm using his FIFA 12 card rather than his FIFA 13 card is because this one's a cam so it's only one position to change it to a center forward so therefore we're not breaking any rules you can see there the 99 dribbling 97 passing threading these two through would just be too easy you'd just be like pop 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 balls all over the place and you would score so many goals it'd be crazy then moving on to the two center mids first off we are going to use Xavi his 97 rated team of the year card from FIFA 12 is absolutely incredible with the 99 passing that thing is crazy I cannot begin to describe how crazy that card is and then we are also going to be using another player that gets into every team of the year and it is Alonso not going to be using this year's card we are going to be using the FIFA 12 team of the season card you can see there is actual team of the year card was only 91 rated and then his team of the season was 93 um, the reason we're going to use this one is because it's a hell of a lot more quick Hello, oh, hello, hell a lot more quick it's a lot quicker than his FIFA 13 card whereas his FIFA 13 card has about 60 pace this one has more like 70 so there we go he goes into the squad 93 defending 97 passing 86 heading 70 pace 85 shooting 85 dribbling Blah. just disgusting stats all over the place right and left mid are going to be our only positions under 90 rating and they're barely under 90 as well the first one our left mid is David Silva we're using his FIFA 13 I believe 89 rated left mid card so there we go he goes into the squad 88 passing 80 pace 89 dribbling and then the right mid card is going to be the man himself Jesus Navas so here we go his team of the season from this year 89 rating overall absolutely crazy and uh, he goes into the squad as well 95 pace 90 dribbling and 85 passing this team would be absolutely disgusting to play with I reckon as long as it didn't get handicapped it would be very very good now we move on to the defense all these players all everyone left is over 90 rated and uh, they're all pretty beastly I won't lie so first off we're going to put this guy in the middle because he is the slowest of the three it's PK his 93 rated team of the year card from last year absolutely crazy 97 defending 90 heading and uh, 66 pace a bit of a letdown but there you go 
Then at the other centre back position, we're going to use Ramos. It was always going to happen. We had to use him at some point, and it was a bit of a choice between his FIFA 12 team of the season or his FIFA 13 team of the season. And I decided to go for his FIFA 13 one because there is only two FIFA 13, three FIFA 13 cards in this team, and there are a whole load of FIFA 11 cards. So I decided to go for this one: 84 pace, 91 defending, and 95 heading. Then we're going to bring back an old legend. It's not as good as he used to be, but he is still a very good player now. But he has a very good card on FIFA 10. 91 rated overall. Puyol. So look, there he goes in. 94 defending, 93 heading, as well as 70 pace and 70 passing. That's a pretty nice looking card, you have to admit. Then, the only position we've got left to fill is the goalkeeper. And it's going to be none other than Casillas. His 95 rated FIFA 13 card is by far his highest. You can see there the closest he's had was a 93 on FIFA 12, a 92 on FIFA 11, and a 91 base card on FIFA 10. So we're going to go for this 95 rated card. And that completes the squad. Absolutely insane. If you can get this squad higher, Feel free to tweet it at me, follow me on Twitter, all the links are on screen or in the description, wherever you want to go and check it out. My uh, handle is at Captain Tom. Find, if you make a better Spanish team using the Generation Squad Builder on Footwiz, that link for that is also down in the description, then tweet it at me. I want to see it because I think that I've made the highest rated Spanish team possible um, in this team. So yeah, there you go. I hope you have enjoyed it. Obviously drop it a like, that'd be amazing. Let's try and hit a thousand likes on this one. Um, oh my god, FIFA 14, again gonna bring it up just around the corner cannot wait let's get on with it let's just bring it out now yeah get that demo to me so i can have a go on it but yeah there you go guys um leave the like subscribe if you're not already and i will see you all next time